Happy New Year! Feliz 2021! E você que quer um 2021 diferente, o Cambly tem um super, super desconto. Até o dia 15 de janeiro de 2021, você pode aproveitar um super desconto de 47% nos planos anuais. É maravilhoso isso. Então, assim, nesse mês, nós vamos abordar, né? Nós, quando eu falo nós, é o Cambly, porque eu tô aqui falando por eles. <risos> nós vamos abordar os objetivos profissionais que podem ser alcançados com o Cambly. Então, sim, seja um novo emprego, entrevista de emprego, encontrar emprego fora do Brasil, mudança de salário. Então, assim, o Cambly tá aqui para te ajudar com isso. Você que está esperando uma boa motivação para começar o ano com o pé direito, aqui está tudo o que você precisa saber. O Cambly é uma plataforma de ensino personalidade em inglês, né? Oferece aulas particulares para adultos de todas as idades e para crianças e jovens entre 3 a 15 anos de idade. Te dá acesso a milhares de tutores nativos e você pode escolher um ou vários, ou seja, você pode testar vários até achar o seu um. Todos eles, todos eles são nativos da língua inglesa, então você também pode escolher um sotaque que você prefira, tá bom? Eles estão online 24 horas por dia, então não tem desculpa. Tem um tempinho, vai lá e aproveita. Então, gente, 47% em todos os planos anuais, agora é a hora. Happy 2021 e Cambly Hello, hello, hey, sweet people. Welcome to another episode of Inglês no Cru Rádio. My name is Foster, and as always, I am here with... Alexia. Hi, guys. Happy January. Happy 2021. Happy 2021, sweet people. Today on the show, we are continuing our kind of this process of examining, analyzing, simply talking about our experiences in 2020. You could call this a year in review. And yesterday... Mm -hmm. Or in the last episode, we ended in February. Yes, yes. When we discovered the first case of cor corona coronavirus um, here in Porto. Kikis. <laughs> coronavirus. Are you having difficulty pronouncing? No, I just, I was making fun of corona. Okay, can we try to say it in English? Coronavirus. Coronga virus. Okay. <laughs> Corona. Coronavirus. So the first sound is ca. Ca. Ron. Ron. No, a ron. A ron. Ron. Okay. This is just like the on own thing. Okay. Can we stay with COVID? Okay. Okay. Sure. I think it would be beneficial for Or our we listeners. Can, we can just say like coronga and I'm glad with that. <laughs> okay. So, we had just heard about the first case of COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2, arriving here in Portugal and we were thinking, uh-oh, this is going to be serious. This mm -hmm. perhaps is going to change a lot of things. Yes, it was only a matter of when, right? We were talking about that a matter of when it would get here in Portugal and it got here in February and... Got here when? February. In February. Yes. And, and then... And then nothing. We just waited to see what the, the Prime Minister and... Uh, the president would say about it. We were waiting on them. Yeah, honestly, at this point, at least from my memory, it was a big deal, but no one was talking about COVID like it was going to be a worldwide issue that was going to completely change our year and our lives. Yeah, I was thinking that it would have cases here, but not that much but maybe it was because i was so naive about it you know yeah i think we all were yeah so in march 2020 mm -hmm. 
coronavirus was here, not a super big deal at the time. And then on March 9th, I believe, yes, um, my grandfather died. Yes. It, it wasn't related with COVID. Right? No. no. Yeah, just to make it clear. No, he was 95 <laughs> years old, um, but it was someone that I was very, very close to. Yes. Probably, I think it was the f the closest person in my life that's ever died. Yeah. 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 Because your grandfather's on your dad's side, they already passed, but you were very young to understand that. My grandparents on my yeah. dad's side. Yes. Grandparents. So my dad's dad died when I was quite young. And then my dad's mom died when I was a freshman in college. But for most of my life, she was already suffering a lot with dementia. Um, so it was very sad, but it was, I did not have the same closeness in the relationship that I have with that I had with my grandfather on my mom's side. You still have. Yeah. I like to think about it. Yeah. Yeah. So he passed on March. I, I don't know if it was March 9th or 10th. Or you had to go on the 10th or 11th. I don't remember exactly. But it was like three days. The 9th, the 10th and the 11th that it was very confusing for you, your family, and me here. Yes. Yeah. Very confusing, to say the least. So essentially what happened, my mom called me and was crying and said that, that my grandfather died and that I need to get home Yeah. to attend the funeral and that kind of thing. Yeah, and in the United States, we already talked about this. Um, on an um, older episode, but they wait for the family to have the funeral, to have the, the oh my goodness, the, you guys have the funeral and the, the get together with the family. Yeah. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. I think we just say the funeral and then there's like a visitation after the funeral. Yeah. They wait for the family to be there. So Foster went to the United States and he got there exactly one day before the United States closes the, the, the air <laughs> flow. <laughs> okay, so I arrived in the U.S. on March 11th and on March 12th, the U.S closed air travel air travel they closed the borders with europe and on the same day so i remember i arrived in the u.s and you know we were thinking about my grandfather we were not thinking about covid no not at all and the next day i remember i was watching tv with my dad and i don't remember what we were watching but when i came downstairs My mom was watching the current president of the United States, Donald J. Trump, giving an address to the nation, talking about closing borders. And at the same time, I looked at my phone, the NBA, the National Basketball Association, just canceled the year for the entire year. And Tom Hanks and his wife yeah. <laughs> also had coronavirus. In Australia. And so in just one moment, it was like, holy shit, <laughs> this is going to change everything. everything. And I had no idea, like, what does this travel ban mean? Does that mean I can return to Portugal? Does that mean that Alexia can come here? And, of course, as we know, it meant, no, <laughs> we can't go anywhere. Yeah, um... So Portugal was still open, but the United States closed. Um, but I mean, 
Foster had just lost his grandfather. Of course, he had to stay with his family. So we didn't think about that much during March. We just waited, you know, like, because I remember when you left Portugal, you were like, oh, no, uh, probably I'll be back like in three weeks, more or less. So I'm going to leave all my clothes here and everything. Yeah. You, you left everything here. I remember I returned to the U.S. just with one backpack. Yeah. And when I arrived in the U.S. in immigration, I was like kind of confused about which way was the right way to go. So I asked the security guard, like, are connecting flights that way? And he was like, yes, they are. But why are you traveling Like, why are you arriving in the United States with just one backpack? <laughs> like, I'm going to search you, is what he was saying. And I was like, I return for a funeral. And he was like, I'm very sorry for your loss. Oh. And I was like, that's right. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, March started the lockdown here. Yeah. March, April, more or less. So it was when the numbers of cases here in the north of Portugal started to get so, so intense and it wouldn't stop growing that they decided to have a full lockdown, like quarantena, total, geral, and everything. Yeah, and at this point... In the U.S., maybe there were a few cases, but I remember, like, I specifically remember my dad complaining, like, the whole world is going crazy about, you know, a common cold, because it was, you know, something happened in China, and now it was kind of happening, happening in Italy, but why does that affect the whole world, and why do we have to change our way of life? It still did not resonate in the U.S. at this point. Speaking about Italy, do you remember? Do you remember that Felipe got back to Brazil like two days before the full lockdown in Italy as well? If he had stayed there, I don't know, a week or something like that, he would be in a full lockdown in Italy without anyone. Yeah, Felipe made it out just in time. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness. <laughs> But yeah, when I returned. I had the intention of staying in the U.S. maybe for a week, 10 days, two weeks, just to go to my grandfather's funeral, stay with my parents for a little bit, and then return to Portugal. And seven months passed. <laughs> yeah. So, let's see. I arrived in the U.S. on March 11th. Yeah. And I did not get back to Portugal September until September 26th. 7th, yeah, I think. Yeah, so almost seven months, right? Yeah. Okay, I think in the next episode we can talk about how was that experience of us being apart for seven months. Spoiler alert, it wasn't fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a puppy now. <laughs> We have a puppy, which is a part of the story, and we will continue that story tomorrow. Yes. Okay. So, I'll As see As always, tomorrow. keep up the good fight. And let's well. Bye. Muito obrigada por ter escutado mais um episódio aqui do Inglês de Necro Rádio. É muito bom ter você juntinho assim de nós. Faz muito, muito carinho no nosso coração, digamos assim. Então você que está interessado em saber mais sobre os nossos produtos e saber mais sobre a gente, o que, que a gente oferece para vocês em relação a estudo, a challenge, a curso, vá lá no inglesnecro.com e você pode ver mais sobre as worksheets, por exemplo. Yeah. If you want to really improve your English, if you want to learn more about the ways you can do that and just connect with us on a deeper level, go to inglesnecro.com and as always... Keep up the good fight. And lose well. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.